New at 6, Knoxville police say thieves are stealing catalytic converters from vehicles all across the city. One of the latest victims is the nonprofit Alzheimer's Tennessee. 10 News reporter Katie Inman shows us how the theft is taking money away from an organization aimed at helping others. On Friday morning, this is the sound that greeted Larry Effler with Alzheimer's Tennessee. Instead of it sounding like a passenger van, it sounded like a NASCAR racer. The nonprofit was scheduled to bring its van to Crossville for a fundraiser parade. I thought maybe the muffler was just gone, but I looked underneath and the catalytic converter was gone. Two clean cuts, about two feet apart, and a space where the catalytic converter used to be. It'll be a couple thousand dollars to get it fixed. For the nonprofit that helps families dealing with Alzheimer's, it's infuriating. We do things to help folks who you know, need our help immediately and need our help badly. And we just shouldn't be forced to deal with this. <laughs> KPD and the manager at the Mighty Muffler says thieves likely stole the piece to try and make some money. There's a few different types of precious metals in the converter that are a little bit more expensive. So when they steal them, they steal them with the intent to sell them. It can happen anywhere in a matter of minutes. This type of crime ebbs and flows. I mean, there for a while, it's almost stops and then you know it's picked back up here recently. Alzheimer's Tennessee says it'll be moving the van to a more secure location, buying a security system and installing a catalytic converter without detectable platinum. They left the van unusable and they took it and uh, you know I guess they got some money for it. I hope they're happy because we are not. But they'll keep rolling. In Knoxville, I'm Katie Inman.